Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be reviewing the final two plates that um, the lovely Maria Nell sent to me for review. So both plates are beautiful, obviously very different in theme. One's like sea orientated and the other is lacy, but they are both gorgeous. So first up, this is number 106. And you have these gorgeous images here, which you could kind of use as like a French tip or, you know, put in across, half across your nail. So obviously this lady here is very eye-catching, gorgeous, and I am just love lacy images anyway. And then this is plate number 43, and I love that mermaid and dolphin image. So lots of very nautical themes, you've got the anchors and those turtles that are so cute. So um, I'm very happy to have um, this plate in my collection. And then you've got these like wavy swirly images also. So as always I'll show you peeling off the blue protective film. Oh, <laughs> that's not happened before. Oh, and it's happened again. <laughs> so yeah, just take your time and hold the plate down. So I'm just going to get straight into the swatches because that what you that's what you guys have come to see. So that has picked up really well and it's kind of like like swirls and the waves of an, an ocean. This more solid image here. So that's really nice and it's really nice with the glitter kind of shimmering through as well. So the polishes that I'm using in these videos are my are the Born Pretty polishes. Uh, I will have a full review on these on Friday uh, so my upload time is at 5 p.m. so please be sure to go and check that out if you've um, you know, like seeing them, me using them, you know, while I've been swatching these Marianne Nails plates. So again, another beautiful swatch. So you have the fish bones. <laughs> so obviously as this is like a very nautical theme, I've got lots of different blues as my base. So this is kind of almost like I don't know, is it like waves or if it's in like a storm or something like that. So this turtle image is so cute. It's a swatch. Oh, that's really nice. I really like that image. So I'm not 100% sure what this image is. No doubt somebody will tell me, <laughs> but I haven't got a clue. But it's swatched really nice, so that's the main thing. And you've got these fabulous anchors. And they have swatched really, really well. So I'm just going to take a few of these images. So I'm actually just going to put this on to one nail, but obviously if you wanted to, you could swatch them separately. And doesn't that look really cute? I really like that. So I just wanted to comment really quickly um, to two jelly babes in particular, and that's um, Maisha Simmons and Shannon Sharon Buchanan, who basically said that I didn't need to keep apologising the fact that my videos were too long, um, because I love them whether they're short or long, and the fact that they're, you know, they're my jelly babes and they love what I do, so I really appreciated that comment, it was really nice to hear, as I was stressing that my videos were getting too long, but yeah, so thank you, <laughs> and I'm not going to go on about the video length anymore. Oh, right, I'm still going to salvage it, come on! <laughs> okay, so it's not all on, but it's there. So here are the um, swatches all together over this plate. Um, I really hope that you like um, what I've done. So moving on then to this beautiful lace plate. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I kind of love these images that do sort of come down the nail, like halfway down the nail, as opposed to fully covering it. 
a very nice sort of delicate chic look. So you can see that that has, um, you know, uh, these images are picking up really well. And you know, we're managing to pick up all of the details. That looks gorgeous. I really like that kind of combo. So I love this lady. It's very, very nice. There. So obviously some of that hasn't picked up very well. I'm going to just try a different stamper and actually a different polish as well. I'm going to try my Queen polish and this is a Marianne Nails Marshmallow Stamper. Okay, so that picked it up better but then obviously it was not positioned very well so I did it again. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. So a beautiful image. So who else really loves lacy images and lacy designs? Do you wear it a lot? I love lace. Actually, I haven't done many designs on my own nails with lace. I must do some. I mean, my nails are bare at the moment and I am deciding as to what to stamp over them and I really can't decide. I don't know whether to pick a uh, plaid. I think I mentioned that in a video before. Or like I've done this plaid now and kind of like lace is appealing to me. What would you like to see more of? Um, plaid or lace over the base colour that I'm wearing? Please let me know and, <laughs> and then um, obviously if I, I know in time um, before I do my nails then I will pick the one that you've commented the most on. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So this actually pop stick is of the polish that I've got on my nails. So it is a beautiful polish and that image is gorgeous. And I always love like a nude and lacy look. It's very, very nice. So I'm just gonna pick a couple of these out just to show you some ways that you can use them um, as part of nail design. So you can kind of like, um, have them going like diagonally across your nail like so obviously I should have scooted it up a little bit but you get the point <laughs> and then as well you can also have them as like a really nice um, you know delicate French tip I'm just gonna go and clean that bit off and that would look really really nice so here are the both of the swatches of the plates all together. I really enjoyed swatching these Marianne Nails plates for you. Um, so I really hope that you found them helpful and that you have enjoyed watching them. Thank you so much to Marianne Nails for sending me these plates for review and the stamper as well. I absolutely love them. And uh, I just like to say, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, bye jelly babes.